Hey everyone, I really appreciate you checking out Organizely. It's been a very fun and useful side project for me. So I built this because I get so many emails and attachments and download so much stuff for work that I wanted to make that more efficient and I want my computer to be extremely organized and clean so I know exactly where everything is and I can find the things I need as quickly as possible. Hence, Organizely. So the idea be behind Organizely is automatically store your downloads where you want them and automatically delete the ones you don't. So here's kind of the full screen interface of it. You won't deal too much with this page, you'll mostly deal with this, if anything. But let's walk you through it really quickly. So here you have your settings, you can turn it on or off. You could show the download notifications or turn them off. A confirmation if you choose to auto delete your files just to make sure you don't mess up and delete something you don't want to delete. And whether or not you want to show the default downloads bar. Just an extra little feature. Then you have your profiles, which basically means the websites that you want to work with. And this is where you set rules for things such as, you know, Gmail, I use Canvas a lot, or, and I use my social medias. So what does that exactly mean? Let's look at Gmail. So for my Gmail, I have the profile called Gmail, and I have two rules. I have G images, which is a folder, the location that I want these to go, and all these file types, PNGs, GIFs, JPEGs, I'm telling organizedly to put any download that has these extensions in the folder called G images. Underneath, I'm making a second rule saying, hey, if he has these extensions, put it in a folder called documents. Of course, I can select from all anything here, or I can make my own rules. So I could say, hey, if it has the name Daniel within the file name, it'll go there. Or if it's a zip file. So really the rules is based on anything and the asterisk symbol means it can have anything before or after. It's not only file types, it's anything you include in the file names. So going back, another example, I have social downloads because you can put multiple websites within each profile. So I'm saying, hey, anything I grab from Facebook or Twitter that is an image media file, let's go ahead and put some videos on there, an audio file or documents. Now you see all the files that it added automatically. Put it in a folder that I call social media downloads. Perfect. And just like that, we're all set. Of course, I can make it as many as I'd like. If I ever need any help, I click help and you can see all the different tutorials, which you'll see here for the settings, the profile, your rules, or your notifications. But once you're set up, you're pretty much done and you could close that. So let's walk through an example. If I get an email, it has a whole bunch of attachments as you see here. And when I download, two things happen. A notification pops up. I'm only going to use this one, so I'm going to tell it to delete itself in 24 hours so my computer stays clean. And then I'm going to download this one, which this one I want to keep and open. So once I hit keep, it won't delete itself. And I'll use the file at some point. So now I go to my downloads folder and you'll see these folders are pre-filled. If I go to G images, those are those downloads I just added. And if I go to my Facebook and I steal somebody's image, this is a cool one, so let's see that. I'm gonna save that image, but I'm only gonna use it for just to build a graphic. I'm gonna delete it in 24 hours. If I go to my downloads folder, there's my Facebook stuff, which I didn't, up, I didn't update yet, and you'll see there's the image I just grabbed. So basically, these images are st storing themselves in folders and deleting themselves if I've told them to. I hope this is valuable to you. It's been very valuable to me to keep my computer clean, 
organize and delete the junk that I only use once, which in reality is about 80% of downloads. If you have any feedback at all, please let me know. Please leave a great review and share with your friends. Thank you.